first modification on the C7 Z06, which I normally don't do this early on in the process, but we're doing uh, window tint. Uh, it just so happens that uh, uh, Martin, who's super smart, uh, he saw that I was talking about getting window tint on the Corvette. He's mobile. Uh, his company's called Alligator Window Film. Uh, he DM'd me on Instagram, said, hey, bro, I'll come there and do it. Sold. So I feel like I've made it in life uh, that now I have somebody that can come here and do it. And I don't have to take the car somewhere and sit there for hours. So he has a mobile um, setup, which we'll show you the process of. He has a plotter and and uh, whatever they call those wash, those boards that they put the tint on. Uh, but he's going to take us through the process of doing uh, tint and prepping uh, windows to get the Expel Prime Plus XR. So we're doing their highest end or their ultimate um, um, ceramic heat rejecting film. Uh, so we're going to be doing full windshield with 70%. We'll be doing the sides at uh, 15. Same thing with the rear as well. Uh, so we'll take you through that process here today. Also, make sure to go check out, uh, if you're really into trying to figure this out uh, and picking window film, go check out the M5 video that we also did earlier today. What well, do you like to do first? So I'm computer cut on the sides and the rear. Okay. So I'll cut that off my plotter that's in my trailer. Okay. Yeah, we'll, uh, the we'll windshield, walk out there with the camera and see, see how you do that. The windshield, I'm going to hand cut just like I did on the M5. Okay. But because I dry shrink, and last time, remember, we had to wait for the stuff to dry. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is get the windshield and the back glass prepped with the uh, dryer sheets and okay. let that dry whilst I'm cutting the window tint. Got it. So. So this car, unlike the M5, was super clean. This one's dirty, but it really doesn't matter to you, does it? I mean, we're not dealing with the paint, so. Right. So, and then cleaning the windows is part of my process that I'm going to do anyway. And then, you know, your definition of dirty and some other people's definition of dirty <laughs> is different. So this is still quite a bit cleaner of a car than I'm <laughs> hypothetically used to doing. So I can see, so this was parked out in the sun. I can see some, you know, some smoke coming off the windows. You're normally doing this outside anyway, right? Can, is well, this going to affect anything by so, having it hot? Just, you know, it, it's kind of one of the things that makes it tough for me is because I'm mobile, people think that it can be done outside. Yeah. So I can't do direct sunlight and I can't do anything that's within the wind. So, uh -huh. Got it. You, know, um, you know, there's mobile detailers out there, but they still can't wax a black car in direct sunlight just because the wax is going to steam up and yeah. evaporate as soon as it touches the paint. Window film's the same, so if this was outside, you saw how fast that water evaporated. Mm -hmm. So once I'm doing the install, if the glass is that hot, I can't do it. So I still need wind and shade protection. Gosh, I'm really noticing how pitted my darn windshield is. I almost want to get a new one. That's all right, I can have you come back and do it again. That's right. I'm telling you, this has like changed my life. If I don't have to go somewhere, <laughs> I don't care how much it costs. <laughs> I'd rather do it. <laughs> Noted. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, I changed that. <laughs> All righty, so while that's drying, let's go cut some film. Okay. It just, but like I said, you know, unrolling it where it's gonna wanna be and then shrink around that. Yeah. Like I'd rather just do the whole glass and hand cut it. Mm -hmm. Cause then I'm cutting where it's going to be once it's shrank and stuck to that window. Yeah. Versus like trying to hope it ends up with the shrink where it should be. So, this is uh, um, the ceramic tint. This is their highest, their ultra high end. Correct. Is, are the patterns any different for film, for the different types of film? Does the, it matter? The patterns aren't different. Um, the, the big difference between the window films is not so much the darkness. It's what the film is made of. Right. So, you know, you're still running a window tint with a dye that rejects heat. So the ceramic window tints, the way that they reject heat is because it has ceramic particles in it. So. Okay. The analogy that I always give people is if you think about a ceramic flower pot, you know, we could leave that out in the street all day long. And at the end of the day, you go pick it up with your bare hands and it doesn't burn your hands uh -huh. because ceramic rejects heat. So when they put those particles in the construction of the film, mm -hmm. that's how the film is rejecting heat without having a dark dye in it like we're doing on the windshield. 
Whereas mm. this is the same technology, it just has the dye in it to give it that 15%. So this doesn't shrink any differently than non-ceramic tint. No. So they don't have to like, it doesn't have to be cut bigger or smaller on the mm -mm. plotter. Nope. So you're gonna plot everything but the windshield. Correct. And we're doing uh, a Prime Plus XR. So this is, uh, we're doing, is this 15 you have on here? It's 15% and okay. then I've got, I use uh, Expel's uh, DAP computer software. Okay. So I've already got your car loaded up with the 18 Z06 coupe. Uh -huh. It's already got the patterns, so it's just going to cut it, you know, right to what we need. Okay. And then I'll shrink the patterns and do everything on the car, uh -huh. you know, once we go in there. Okay. So you click go and... I you... click which windows I want it to print. Click plot. Yeah, I knew I liked you. You got zip ties on your, uh, on your, on your extension cords. That's good. There's only so much clutter I can get rid of in this with it being a mobile environment, but I try to get as rid of as much as I can. Yeah, this is, I think this sets you apart. I think most mobile guys don't have a plotter set up, right? I mean, they're well, cutting all the film. There, there's a lot of mobile guys, and some mobile guys have plotters. What I feel like sets me apart is that a lot of mobile guys, they have a shop, and then they also do mobile. So what the, a lot mm -hmm. of those guys will do is they'll have their plotter, They'll want to know what car you have, they'll bring it with. and then they'll bring it with them with maybe some extra film in case they hit a curveball, and then they can hand cut. Yeah. Whereas, what I try to do is bring what you would want in a brick and mortar to you, yeah. and you can make what I call a game time decision. So you don't have to tell me before I show up mm -hmm. what level of film you want, how dark you want. We can go over all of that, mm -hmm. and then I'll cut on the fly what we decide from there. Mm -hmm. So is that that plot is going to waste all that whole left side there? Correct. Oh man, mm. Expel smart. <laughs> oh, so you'll, I see what you're gonna do. You'll generally come out, you're gonna prep it all and then roll it up and then carry it in and do wherever the car is. <laughs> So what's the film call below this, Prime CS? Uh, the film just below this, if you will, is uh, Prime XR. Okay. Which is their, what I call ceramic film, and then I affectionately call the XR Plus uh, Super Ceramic. It's okay. just... So um, both are ceramic, it's just that the Plus has more... The difference heat. is the Plus has... Um, the Plus has infrared radiation ray reducers, which is the heat ray from the sun. Mm -hmm. So it's a ceramic IR film. Mm -hmm. um, generally speaking, once you start going into that, you, you out technical people and they kind of stop listening because so you lose them a little bit. And so that's why I just typically will just say, you know, ceramic or super ceramic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for the person that's got the more analytical brain and really wants to dive deep, I can go there with them. But um, that's why a lot of times you'll hear me just say ceramic or super ceramic. So you have three, Expel has three versions. They have the non-ceramic CS. Correct. And then they have the uh, the XR and the XR Plus. Right, which is just, CS is just their color stable film. So everything's yeah. lifetime warranty. Everything's 99% UV. The It all looks the same. It's gonna have the same color to it. The big difference is just how much heat it's gonna block. Mm. But I like doing the plotting just from a standpoint of, I personally just like to sell off the fact that I'm not on your brand new Z06 Corvette with a knife. You know, I can hand cut if I want to, if I have to, if my plotter goes down, you know, I can, I can hand cut, I know how, um, but I don't depend on it. I just prefer, you know, the, the peace of mind that you know that on your back window of your brand new car. Mm -hmm. Is there a way for you to more efficiently cut or plot and not waste so much film? Uh, certain cars, um, they'll have patterns in there where they've arranged them in the computer in such yeah. a fashion that it uses less film. Um, but the Corvette, the windows are so long mm. and there's so few of them that you know they really don't have a way to you know, more efficiently do it. This one I'm wasting a ton because I messed up the the last film, so I'm just cutting what I need to cut with what's left over. What what would you say roughly percentage cars you're gonna do this type of film on? Is this fewer and further between? It is. Um, generally speaking, my high-end uh, ceramic XR Plus, 
the general two types of people that are going to buy this film are the type of person where just money is no object and they just say give me the best i don't care what it costs or the type of person that just looks for the best in whatever category whatever they're buying so you know the new camry comes out and they buy the brand new body fully loaded next year the accord comes out with the new body and they trade it on that fully loaded mm -hmm. that type of person or the person that just wants the best no matter what will get this other than that my regular ceramic is a great bang for the buck mm -hmm. so on a corvette what does this cost to do the whole car on a corvette i you know my windshields are always the same price because they use you know marginally different amounts of film so for the mm -hmm. most part it's the same um, a Corvette with this level of film on it, I would be right at, you know, four ninety nine, and then two two forty nine for the windshield, mm -hmm. just because so the seven hundred and fifty bucks to do roughly the ultimate film on a Corvette. Yeah. Um, you know, I I charge my prices based off film usage, and not difficulty of the car. So sometimes I take an L, and sometimes it's a win. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do my mom's, you know, 85,000 mile base, you know, Impreza, Subaru, whatever that's that thing called, Impreza. What should we do on that, just CS film? I would say, you know, since we're in Florida, I'd re I always recommend a heat reduction film just cause, so you know, we'll do, we don't, we so don't do participate XR. in winter, and we don't really participate in winter down here. So do XR. I would recommend XR. That'll be cool, then we'll get to compare it. I'll get to compare it for my next car. Yeah, I've got uh, one of my clients that's out in St. Cloud. He's got that. He's got the XR on his daughter's truck and then on his truck since he's got a high country. Yeah. You know, we've got the XR Plus on there. Ultimate thing would be get like a car hauler and then you can pull the car into the trailer. The only thing with that is like I don't have room to open the doors. Oh, yeah. So when I tent, like, yeah, it's going on the inside, but when I push against the door to put the film on, like I don't want to... What um, my next big thing that I want is I'm gonna do an awning system off my trailer so that way I can kind of create a garage. Yeah. Um, so that way if I have somebody in an apartment complex or something like that, like I can still do a wind-free environment. Um, it's just a matter of finding where's the right place to do it with the right, you know, I don't want one that angles down because I'm not trying to, uh, you know, I'm not trying to prevent rain from falling on my trailer or camper. I'm looking for it to go straight out for you know shade purposes for tent. So it's kind of a, a one-off application, but everything in here is a one-off application. I mean, my tent shelves were built custom. Looks pretty. It's funny, the windows look so much bigger until you put yeah. a pattern like that on it. A lot of black on that thing, I didn't even notice it. Hey, this thing's dirty. Michelle left it out underneath the trees. And then I'm gonna mess it up with some soapy water. Yeah, that's why I don't feel so bad. <laughs> yeah, I guess other than the windshield, this is probably a pretty reasonably easy car to do. It's not time consuming because the amount of windows, it's the curvature of some of this. these doors have a whole lot more curve than some other cars, so. Mm -hmm. I shrink them two different ways for this specific car, um, but the size of the windows isn't so much the the issue; it's the curvature. So the plotted cut is oversized, allowing for shrink. Expels is pretty exact. Um, the shrink isn't so much shrinking the size of the pattern; it's oh, okay. it's shrinking it to the curvature of the glass, so that way, mm. when I install it. All those fingers aren't there. Yeah. This is the start of many, many modifications to this thing. Gosh, I love how quickly this shrinks. mainly for my own time. <laughs> this will be good. I'll just have Expel send me five rolls of 15, <laughs> two rolls of uh, 
of uh, 70 and then we'll just have it here on tap. That'll work. I'd say 15% is by far the most common that I do. You know, the people that want dark limo tint, we kind of know who we are because I fit into that category. And then, you know, 15 is a good medium. It's not too, you know, it's not too dark. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be interested to see if I'm making you get me 20. What's the, what's the step up from here? As far as darkness or? Yeah. Um, the next step, step from down, here, step darker would be five, would be limited. But step lighter. Step lighter would be 20, um, which is going to be more common up north. Um, down here, it's a lot of 15 just because uh, the legal limits in Florida are 15% on the rear of a car. Yeah. So a lot of people do 15. Um, but I carry a 20% in the trailer in a smaller roll just to match factory 10 on trucks. No matter what I do, this car looks terrible in pictures. It's only because you're a Porsche guy. Corvette people love it. Anything special about the? Uh, I got a little sidetrack doing some, taking some photos. But anything no, no special worries. about doing this? Uh, these side windows? Not really. Just you shrunk it. In it tucks down inside there. Mm-hmm. That way, uh, you know, when you roll the window up and down, it, it doesn't catch. Yeah. And I like right now, like when I do frameless cars like this, or like an M3 or anything like that, um, I basically trick the doors so mm -hmm. that you saw me pop those mm. so that the window is up as if the door was shut not rolled down when the door is open so that way i can get the full window got it so have you found a way since you're the picky detailer the streak marks that show up on the chevy door panels when they get rained on or anything like that have you found a way to keep that from happening well, you can't keep it from happening, but you just clean it with a, it was like these are, I think leather. So leather, we would use <laughs> a Swiss Fax leather cleaner. Okay. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't messed with Swiss Fax yet. I saw it the other day on, Kareem was posting about it, and so I looked into it, but I'm 90% yeah. tent, so. All right, I gotta pay attention. 
getting hungry, <laughs> losing losing interest fast. <laughs> so these have a factory tint to them, don't they? Every glass has some sort of a tinge to it. Nothing's a hundred percent clear. Where it's real noticeable is I had my windshield replaced recently and discovered at that point that the factory windshield from GM is about a 70% and the one they replaced it with was almost ice clear. So I actually had to put a darker film on my windshield after I got it replaced. Okay, food is ordered. See, so there is no cutting. The plotting takes into account you're going to shove it down in there. Mm-hmm. Imperfection in the film. So we will do that one in a minute. So these little ones don't need to be shrunk because it's pretty much flat. Yeah. So what, what happens when you see all these people driving around with bubbled up tint? How the heck does that happen? That is an adhesive failure. So, so what was done wrong? It's just the glue uh, has gone bad. So if I were to remove window tint from someone's car to retint it, mm -hmm. one of the best ways to remove the window tint is with a steamer. Yeah. Well, Florida, because the wet, moisture and the hot wet moisture loosens up the glue mm -hmm. but the climate here in florida is so hot and humid that with your back window always facing the sun the climate here just bakes that adhesive off and when it starts to fail it drops down in little pockets much like a headliner would if the glue was going bad mm. so it's not so much the error of the installer is just the glue went bad on the film mm. you see that all the time I just never had it happen. Yeah, Ever. well, that's because you've been using premium window films. Ah, okay. So, you know, if, if the film's got a one-year warranty or something like that, then it probably ain't going to last in Florida. Um, and even some of the lifetime warranty films down here yeah. just aren't going to last like they do, you know, elsewhere. It's, you know, there's some people that say Florida is where good window film comes to die. Mm. I should just leave this thing on the lift and tear the exhaust off right now. No. Well, I could order one and get it here quick, Lee. <laughs> Can it get here today? <laughs> yeah, just leave it like that. Yeah. No one will notice. It'll evaporate. You're making this looks too easy. Like. It's also the environment that I'm in. You're making it look too easy, yeah. You gotta start doing some, you know, make the... Uh, well, I have to re-cut that other window because there's an imperfection in the film. Start so. grunting and yelling and screaming. and Oh yeah, take that stupid thing out of there and get it, punt that thing in the trash. <laughs> this is a freaking thing. Why Do are these smocks in the car? What is this garbage? Hide your golf bags, man. <laughs> That. Keep your groceries intact. Come on. What the heck? <clears throat> Freaking smock. What is this, art class? As soon as you're done with the window, this weather tech floor mat's getting pumped into. It's not a Driving around with it's not a mud truck. shoes, yeah. Can you somehow delete that? Dot matrix for me? Uh, unfortunately, no. <laughs> but it'll be less noticeable. Oh boy. It's, it's flags. 
Just branding. Just flags all over this stupid thing. <laughs> I don't need, I, everybody knows what this is. We don't need any <laughs> branding. We short people have to improvise, adapt, and overcome. Yeah, this is great. You can just chill. Yeah. So have you done any kind of, you know, I know some guys sometimes will like glue the dot matrix to, I mean, newer films don't seem to have the bubbling up issue that the older stuff does. I mean, the the glue or there's so many you know i guess tricks of the trade to get it to stick more uniform to the dot matrix the reason you see the white borders on cars like that is because the dot matrix is actually raised off the glass a little bit mm. and then the glue on the window film isn't thick enough to absorb all of that yeah. and so where you're seeing those dots is from the air that's yeah. in between so anytime someone's going to use a glue or do something like that, you're like, yes, that does work. However, if you have an issue, you want to talk about an absolute nightmare oh, and a mess they get it off. if you have to remove it. so Because oh, you can't blade. You can't even use a razor blade there because that's the yeah, matrix is sticking up. Exactly. And mm. so then, you know. Mm, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So I know that there's people that do it. There's people that swear by it. They have something that works for them. I didn't think about that. But the consequence of that. For me personally, I'd rather not deal with that. This is good. No one's going to be able to see me driving in my, in my Corvette, man. Oh, you're going to see if I that If it wasn't a Corvette, I'd swear that was Matt. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be bad, dude. He had the shirt and everything. <laughs> Is that that YouTube Corvette guy? I'm like, oh no, I've been trying to become a Porsche guy my whole life, and, and, and I'm gonna, I'm about to lose it in like one month. I want to be known as the M3 guy. I'm gonna be the Corvette guy. It's gonna be bad. You gain like 300,000 subscribers. Oh. <laughs> you're gonna have to, you're I'm going to have to keep one for the rest of my life. You're going to have to start wearing way more jorts, way more Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> if you didn't like the car, you shouldn't have bought it. <laughs> well, I don't know if I don't like it. As of right now, I don't like it, but give me a little time. Wait till I get uh, some headers and exhaust in this thing and lower it seven inches, and then we'll see. You don't like wheel gas? <laughs> I don't mind a little wheel gap, but when I can stick my foot in there, <laughs> although it would be easier to clean the wheel wells, that would be a lot easier. See? Perspective. <laughs> yeah. While I pump this WeatherTech mat in the dumpster, I think it's probably $370. Oh yeah, if somebody, if you're watching this video, I better not say that, because then I'm going to get 7,000 emails. You want to buy this? I'll sell it to you cheap. I don't know what this thing costs, but I don't. I think it's a lot of money. Oh, so I'll sell it to you for fifty percent of whatever it cost. I gotta. I gotta have monies for carbon ceramics. I gotta buy new carbon ceramics. Did you know that to break in the carbon ceramics, I have to do fifty, five zero, six zero to sixty to zero stops. I know you can do that. Where? Really? I need to find a place. Don't mind the auto exhaust video. I need to find a place to do it. Yeah, you can hit 50, no problem. I hit like 80 on my Miata on it. There's no house, there's no buildings. Well, I need to do 50 of them. It's, I'm gonna be, I have to probably get out and puke halfway through it. down the road. These are the Carpet 65 wheels, aren't they? Some, I, I read someone on the Corvette forum say, yeah, it has like the wrong wheels. Hey man, how's it going? 
Gone. So this one you don't uh, you don't plot. No. You cut this on the car. Mm -hmm. All windshields. What's the what's the methodology behind that? I know we talked about this on my M5, but yeah, so, for the people who haven't seen that video. So as convenient as the computer cutting is, and the the windshield pattern is in the computer system for this, I just you would end up having to unroll this onto the windshield where the pattern's gonna wanna be and then heat shrink it around that. Personally, I like to just shrink the whole glass, form it to it, and then cut where it's gonna be after it's formed. Okay. I just think for a windshield where you're constantly looking that direction, mm -hmm. I think it comes out to a more accurate pattern. Got it. And then that way you're doing less touch-ups because the shrink was tilted and then you know, mm. it's not where it was, and then you got to go touch it up. So, and I've noticed that. Well, you, it's not like the the edgeless wind, the frameless windows. You can't see. Now right. you have a steady hand. I watch you do it, but you know, if if it if there's a little wobble in your cut, it really doesn't matter because you can't see it. it. Exactly. So unlike unlike on the the doors. Right. That's where you'll see. You know, especially like in the tent world where someone will post, you know, the job that they did, and they just get blasted in the comment section because they'll if they you know, tilt their blade just a slight bit and then you see that wave. But, yeah. you know, you really only see it whenever, you know, someone's got their window halfway down, but with the expel patterns, they, you know, they're yeah. super, super exact. How far past you need to come here? That's fine. I've got overage over here. All right, so the, the concept of shrinking is to, so it carries the curvature. Correct. So the, the, windshield the windshield or glass in any car has some sort of curve outside of the G-Wagon. So you've got to make the form, you've got to make the window tint form to that window. So it doesn't really shrink it in size, it just shrinks it down to fit, you know, what you're trying to fit it on. Mm. But the curvier it is, the harder it is to shrink, which is why, you know, everyone hates Volkswagen bugs or the back window of a C, C6. So we're doing the same Prime XR Plus, just in a much lighter, almost clear at 70%. So the 70% film. I, I say always, virtually clear. I always do this, do this because do the whole windshield mainly to just take the edge off. And I find I almost never wear sunglasses. Yeah. I don't really like sunglasses. I want to like them, <laughs> but I don't like wearing them. It's kind of like I like want to like watches. I just don't. Uh, and so the beauty of having this is I never have to worry about wearing sunglasses. Yeah. So here's what, here's what we're putting on the windshield. What we're looking at for the windshield is 70%. You can definitely tell it's there, but this will just take the edge off. I normally do 80, so I think 70 is the perfect, perfect dark, dark. Even my, even my blue film is a 70. Yeah, I like that. Second modification, <laughs> Lloyd's mats, because I don't want any darn goofy Zio seven niners on the freaking floor mats. I'm kind of glad the M5 doesn't have M5 mats. Like they just do the five series, just black. So I don't have to have some weird logos all over my freaking floor mats. Lloyd's is like, you don't want the Jake logo? No, I don't want the Jake logo. That's just ridiculous. I gotta stop, I gotta stop it. You gotta, you gotta make me look not so angry, Bryce. It's hard to do.
VTubers. Okay, so you're doing, what's this thing called? Uh, soap rope? Soak rope. Just soak rope. Yeah. yeah. I told you I was a dork for branding. Auto fiber. <laughs> no, Ian will. Ian owns auto fiber in California. I give those out, like if anybody does a, a high-end ceramic job with me or coating or anything like that, I leave one of these with them. Yeah, like this. I know Corvette. I was raised on Corvettes. I'm like a regular Corvette guy now. This is great. <laughs> I I will teach you the ways. <laughs> Heck yeah, I got a convertible. I didn't even think about that. Whatever. <laughs> so you're prepping a windshield. Oh yeah, what is that? I'll have to sit in it later and see what that's like. So I get easily distracted, it seems. <laughs> no worries. You got a lot of work to do on this car that's to bring it to standard. This is your world. I'm just tinting in it. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's a good saying. Oh, they already jacked it all up. Oh my word. <laughs> oh my gosh, what was I thinking? I should have I should have bought one of the 5,000 mile cars that I was going to buy. I just really wanted this Carbon 65 version. But then this gives me more to work on. The dealership which is full of crap. Weren't they all? Yeah. Talking about how, you know, this thing is perfect. Yeah, but so... So a Corvette carbon... owner's definition of perfect and a Porsche owner's def definition of perfect are very different. Well, I got to spend six grand on the brakes because they're toast. And I got to buy a new steering wheel, new shifter, new dash part. Probably have to buy a new door card. But, I mean, I did the same thing to my 1M, so that's part of the, part of the fun and the process of taking a car that you know, was kind of decent and then making it really good. Yeah. So that that I'm one M is such a driver's car. Yeah, it's such a hidden gem. You know, everyone ignores because it's a one. Yeah, this is what every auto detailer hates is glass. It's so hard to get. I don't like glass as much as just interiors. The the, the interior cleaning process. So because I you know if you take care of glass, you only have to do it once every once in a while. Yeah. So you know I'll wait for the window tint to totally you know cure all the, all the adhesive to cure and then what I'll do is I'll get in there and really do a good good quality cleaning to the tent and then I'll only have to clean it once every six months maybe yeah so what I hope to do is provide value to people by giving them you know making videos like this giving more information yeah sharing the process Yeah, so this isn't, I guess this isn't that bad. I thought this car was going to be a lot worse. I mean, you're making it look easy, but I thought this car would be a lot harder to do. I guess if you take the roof off, you can get in the trunk. <laughs> yeah, so, climbing into the trunk helps. <laughs> my, short, my short self reaching without that. My 911 is really extremely hard to do. A GT3, you know, you have the roll cage in the back and stuff. It's just not as easy. Yeah, my, my client that I tended is Urus. He's got a GT3 RS that he races. And um, the reason that I didn't tint that is because of the roll cage and yeah. he actually, you know, races it, so. Yeah, yeah I should have just, I should have just called up whatever safe light and bought a new windshield. So we'll be tinting this windshield again soon. Sweet. I tell everybody, whatever and whenever it's right for you is when I'll be there. Not trying to be pushy. All right, let's put the roof back on. Actually, let's put our floor mats in first. That's what I'm most excited about. <laughs> oh, I like to have the little spots there. Yeah, I don't know about these floor mats. This is very American-like. So we got some Lloyd's mats. I forget which 
Who's the version of these? This was, they have like a high, high, like a high pile. This is like the medium pile. I bet you I'd like the low pile. This is a little bit higher than I'd probably like to have, but it'll do the job. WeatherTech floor mats for sale. All right, that's a wrap. Uh, I will uh, pull it outside and I'll get you some, some footage of what this looks like, but 70%. Uh, 15% all the windows are done Martin killed it uh, we'll let it I'll let it sit outside for several days uh, I know it looks really really dark in here so don't panic we'll get you some shots outside it'll also lighten up a little bit as the water uh, dries uh, so anytime you do window tint you always have to be used to a little haziness until uh, the adhesive sets up and all the water evaporates or dries and, uh, and cures uh, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna pull it out and uh, actually we're gonna pull my mom's car in I'm not gonna video that one uh, but we'll be doing uh, the regular ceramic on her car uh, that way I'll be able to give you some longer term updates on my feelings on uh, expels film so we'll add this to the list of film that I have a little bit of information about of which one I select and why um, but uh, yeah Corvette looks good first modification done second modification done all in one video floor mats and uh, weather tech is out of here. So if you want the weather tech stuff, email Chris at uh, obsessedgarage.com. Yeah, he'll take care of you. We'll get those sold. 50% off of whatever they cost. Get them out of my garage. Otherwise, I'm going to throw them away. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks to Martin. Go check out his. We'll have his information in the description. If you're anywhere in Central Florida, uh, hit him up. He'll come to you, which is amazing. As long as you have somewhere covered where he can you know, do his work. But he has a whole, you saw, he has a plotter and everything out in his truck. And a uh, full, full array of different uh, film types and, um, uh, and uh, I guess, darknesses. So anyway, thanks for watching this one. More Corvette stuff coming. More sophisticated modifications coming in the future as we bring this car back to what I would call, you know, my specifications. Because it's a little bit jankier than I was hoping for when I bought the thing. Because the, they may have left out five or ten things about uh, deficiencies of the car. For instance, we just learned that it doesn't have the right wheels on it. So yippee. Not only do I have all-season tires, I have wheels that aren't actually the carbon 65 wheels so that means i'll probably end up having to buy a set of those anyway thanks for watching as always stay tuned for more crazy I can't believe he's devaluing, but he's taking the stickers off. So again, we're doing the same. God dang it. Prime XR Plus. What is wrong with my brain? Yeah.